hello guys welcome back to my channel today we'll be talking about um, sewing machine maintenance and how to assemble the shuttle yeah some people call it the the bobbin case this bobbin area how to remove it and then assemble it just in case you have to remove it maybe join maintenance as well as when um, you have a thread jam yeah so for the maintenance the major thing we are going to need actually is the brush it came with the machine yeah the, the hair screwdriver it also came with the with the machine with the package and then the oil these are the major things i think we are going to need i only have this just in case I need them I don't know I might need them it came with my industrial machine I might just need them for something so I only have them I want to have them handy let's get to it so guys the first thing you need to ensure is that your machine is switched off if possible disconnect your machine okay which is what I have done my machine is not connected to the power source at all so now to do the maintenance I'll remove this the accessory box so the maintenance actually is just on this side of the machine the the bobbin area the shuttle part and then this part the where the tension is where the tension of the hopper tension of the machine is okay that is where the major maintenance is so now i'll remove the foot of my machine okay and then i ensure that my needle is raised to the highest point you can see you see i'll ensure that the needle is raised to the highest point okay and i'll leave it that way so the next thing to do is to unscrew the needle plate okay so now we unscrew the needle plate and we take it out gently just make sure that the screws are kept safe okay so now if you look here under the needle plates i hope you can see well you can see how dirty this part is i have to clean it and then let me zoom in so can you see how dirty this area is can you see all these things affect they actually affect how her machine work yeah do you see all these things have to be cleaned okay um it is usually advised that you should clean your machine after heavy projects okay now guys what we have to do is to clean this area okay we need to clean underneath the feed dogs because whether we like it or not you know the feed dogs yeah these are the feed dogs it, it actually pulls our clothes yeah and that's why you don't have to pull your clothes from behind when you're sewing okay so whether we like it or not this part will get dirty okay so we have to clean it if you have a bigger brush you can use it so ensure that you clean underneath while you're doing it just be careful of your needle yeah okay if you have a brush with a long, longer handle that will be fine so just be careful and clean out everything every dirt that you can see underneath okay okay so now after cleaning the top okay so we'll now have to remove the bobbin the bobbin case and the hook okay so that we can clean inside this part okay so now the first thing we need to do to get these things out yeah is to snap you see these hook arms here yeah? you should snap it snap to the right and to the left snap to the left snap to the right and then you see it even comes out easily yeah so just for knowledge sake actually this is the hook race cover okay this is the bobbin this is the bobbin yeah and this is the bobbin cover okay the bobbin case and then this is the hook and um this is the hook raise if you're doing the maintenance by yourself i can see a screw here actually so if you're doing the maintenance by yourself which is just the normal oiling and cleaning you don't need to remove it so now we have to clean all around we have to clean everything make sure you just clean as much as you can okay you can see yeah 
you have to clean every everything just ensure you clean everything that's why i actually said the bigger brush is better yeah a bigger and fluffier brush yeah it's better so you just try to clean everything okay i think it's worthy of note actually to mention that you shouldn't clean this bobbin area before you clean the feed dogs yeah you would observe that i actually cleaned this under the needle plates first yeah before the bobbin area because when you dust this area yeah some of them some of the dust actually still goes down yeah it goes down to this area so you should clean this place first and then you clean this area okay so after doing this i have to clean my hook yeah so now the next thing we're going to do is to oil the machine okay so first turn the hand wheel yeah and ensure that the hook raise is actually to the left now it's completely on the left okay so the manual says we should oil this part okay so we'll be oiling adding like one or two drops to this part okay if we hold this part here yeah? if we hold this part like the advice there yeah? it's actually to make the operation of the hook um go smoothly yeah so just drop this all came with the machine okay so we'll just drop about two just put like two drops on it and we are done so the next thing is to cover up the machine first of all um this is the hook you see the, the way it is it looks like half of a moon yeah so we're going to replace it ensure that your hook raises to the left and then you put the hook you hold this yeah and put the hook back okay i hope you saw that actually it's not hard it doesn't have to make a snap sound or something you just put it back okay so you see with the hook raise it actually makes like a complete circle kind of i hope you can see and then the next thing is to replace the hook raise cover so you can see this this knob kind of yeah so this knob goes here let me zoom in okay so now we replace this like i said um this knob yeah will enter the hole that is here yeah there is an opening there you do it gently carefully so that the hook will not fall apart and then after replacing it this way yeah this arms here yeah, you snap them back into position so the left one comes here and the right one comes here okay and then we replace the bobbin and the bobbin case as well put the bobbin in the bobbin case you know how to do it here yeah? this way the um, thread will be towards your right and then you place it inside the bobbin inside the bobbin case here yeah? and then you pull it under this latch okay then you place this and that's all for the bobbin area okay so the next thing we are doing is to put back the the um, needle plates okay so it's this way make sure you screw it properly and firmly because if you don't do it properly it might affect um, your sewing okay guys please make sure that your needle plate is firmly screwed because if it's not firmly screwed while you're sewing you may experience um, so, some loose stitches and then um, um, your thread might just begin to jam okay so now it's been fixed i think we are done now so we have to replace the accessory box so i can also replace the foot
okay so i want to try to see how the machine will sound and then i want to just try and sew and see if i've done everything correctly if it sews well that means everything is fine the threading and hole but if not that means something is wrong so i i want to give it a try right, right now So I'll be using this part of my fabric to, to see. So guys, I think with this video, you can actually clean your machine by yourself uh, and then oil it, add some oil, and also arrange the, reassemble the bobbin here, okay? So thank you for watching my video guys. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye.